Hello viewers, in this video, I'm going to explain how to design a MATLAB code for a numerical scheme that has been proposed in a research paper titled Modeling Attractors of Chaotic Dynamical Systems with Fractal Fractional Operators. This paper was published in 2019 by authors Abdun Ajangana and me. Let me show you the numerical scheme for which I have designed a MATLAB code. So the numerical scheme is shown by equation 3.13 as you can see on your screen. So here I have actually simulated a mathematical model that has three dependent variables, x, y, and z. This is the reason you see three equations in this numerical scheme. This is the numerical scheme for a dynamical system which is being investigated with fractal fractional operators under the Caputo differential operator. So the system or the model for which MATLAB code has been designed is on page number 326. So you can see the model that I have chosen is now shown on your screen defined by equation 3.4. So this is a system of three differential equations which are being investigated with fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense. So you can see that we have three equations here while equation number three in the system and equation number two in the system both are linear. But equation number one is a nonlinear equation because here this capital H is defined by this term, and you can see that it involves sine function of a dependent variable. So it is a transcendental function of dependent variable, makes the equation nonlinear, and hence the system of this differential equations becomes a nonlinear system. So let's go to MATLAB and see how we can design a code to simulate this mathematical model with fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense. So as you can now see on, see on your screen, I have also cited the paper from where I have taken this numerical scheme so on line number eight you can see that i have mentioned the step size that is being used during the simulations and the step size is 0 0.01 the first value of the dependent that independent variable is 0 0.1 and the final mesh point of the integration interval is chosen to be 100 so this is the interval of integration and capital N shows the number of iterations. Line number nine shows the initial conditions. The first value of the dependent variable is two, second one, and for third dependent variable, it is again one. The value of alpha is arbitrarily chosen, which is a fractional order. The value is 0 0.97. Similarly, the value of tau is once again chosen arbitrarily and it is 0 0.89. This parameter in the research paper is called a fractal dimension. Line number 12, you can see some values of the parameters that are required in our model. So you can see now line number 14, 15, 15 and 16. These lines show the nonlinear system 
that we are given in the research paper. Now you can see this loop is very important to understand and the numerical scheme that I had shown you that was defined by equation number 3.13 is now written as a for loop on your screen. So this is for the first dependent variable in our dynamical system in our model. This is for the second dependent variable and from line number 32 you can see we have our third dependent variable and the right hand side contains the terms that you had seen in the numerical scheme of the research paper. So this is how you can write down the for loop for the numerical scheme defined in the paper. Now line number 40 shows the plot of the figure 7, plot A of the figure 7 in the research paper. Once you understand how to get the plot for any figure using this numerical scheme with the Caputo operator, you can yourself easily plot the rest of the figures which are shown in the paper. So let's see and run this M file to get the required plot. So I have now pressed the run button and I have to wait for a couple of minutes to see the plot that will be produced with this numerical scheme. So it takes some time to produce the required figure. I'm still waiting to see the picture. Okay, so now you can see this is a plot of the plot of the dynamical plot of the approximate solution that the numerical scheme has produced for this dynamical system. Okay, so now similarly you can obtain other plots that are shown in the research paper with the fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense. One last point, you can see on line number 18, I have written tick. This is before the loop starts. And then I have typed talk, the moment where loop ends. By giving these two commands before and after the loop will compute the time that has been taken by this M file to produce the picture or to produce the result. So it gives us approximate time in seconds. So in order to see how much time was consumed by this loop to produce the results, you will have to go to the command window. And now you can see that around 48.5 seconds have been consumed by this loop. So that's it. This is all about the MATLAB code for the numerical scheme that has been proposed with the fractal fractional operators in the Caputo sense. So I have simulated the model as you can see on the screen 3.4. You can easily simulate rest of the dynamical systems which are given in this paper. In my next video, I will discuss with you how we can design a MATLAB code for a numerical scheme with fractal fractional operators given in the Caputo Fabrizio operator and also with Atangana Baliano operators. So, wait for my future lectures on these two numerical schemes. Thank you for watching.